In this video, we're gonna be going over how to send audio from vMix to a conference call number for your service. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. The link is in the description. So this is a follow-up to the video that I did doing the exact same thing, but it was for OBS. And I had a bunch of people in the comments ask me, how can you do this for vMix? And it is very simple. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and we'll just get right to it. All right, so we're over here in vMix and the very first thing that you need, just like in the other video, is we are gonna use and leverage the VB Audio digital cable. This is where we're gonna send audio into the digital cable and get audio out of it from the digital cable into our platform of choice for in this example we're going to use freeconferencecall.com but to be in all honesty it can work with any program that you decide to use whether it be um i don't know whether it be the you know google meet whether it be zoom um yeah any platform that actually you can set the audio to a specific type of input it will work with that. So we already have this installed here. So let's go here and right now I am outputting sound to my Yamaha mixer. Let me get my headphones here. And what we're gonna do is test the audio that's coming into this and I'm unplug my cable that I need to set back up. So I am hearing an echo because I am outputting, and it's hard for me to talk when I'm hearing the echo. Let's unplug the microphone. Um, and I'm still, oh, I'm getting audio from the webcam. So anyway, we're gonna be coming in here and we have audio coming in. So let's go ahead and set up some music here to play, because that would make it easier. So we already got this song here. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this song here turn the audio on and play now i'm hearing i'm hearing audio coming in through my system which i'm supposed to let's crank this down a little bit because i don't want to be too annoying so i'm hearing audio coming in i'm hearing it through my mixer because that is the output here now because we have sound coming in we've already verified it what we're going to do i have to put the microphone my headphones on top of the microphone. So now that we can we test and we verify that sound is actually coming through our system with our regular speakers, but again, mine, I'm using the mixer out for my sound. We're gonna go ahead and change this to the cable input. We're sending the audio into the digital cable. So now you don't hear anything, but we know the sound was working because that's what we sent. And the audio playing, is just representative of any audio that's going into it. So with that being said, if we're using free conference call, I'm gonna use the app that you can download because I need to use the computer's audio. So let's go over here, open this up. I'm gonna host the call and I am using my join with computer audio. All right. And if it wasn't the way you want it, you can always go here to preferences and audio. And I, like right now, this is not correct. We want to use the cable output because now we're outputting what we're sending in with vMix. And as you can see, that's what's going on right now. So I stopped talking just so you can see the bar is going because it's pulling, is registering the audio that's going into it. All right, so we're back here on our call and audio is coming through. All right, so we're gonna cut back over here and what we're gonna do is dial into the conference call and we're gonna pick up sound from my phone here. So let me dial in here. And 
and we're going to put this on speaker. Welcome and thank you for choosing freeconferencecall.com. You're helping people around the world communicate for All right, put our number in. I didn't put the song on loop, so let me loop it again. And now, that's the audio coming in from the conference call. So if somebody was talking, they would be able to hear whatever's going on. So let's go ahead and change this song just so we can show that this is something different. Let's add a new song here. And let's pick this Boogie Wheel song. How about that one? And let's loop that audio and play. All right, and that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all we had to do for us to filter and get sound in the system. As you can see, we're pulling in audio, and let me hang up the call now. We're sending audio into vMix. We're letting the sound that's being produced, excuse me, in vMix, we're sending to the virtual cables input. We're sending sound into the input, setting the input as our main sound for our computer, then in our application of choice, which happens to be free conference call, we set the mic for the cable output. So everyone is hearing what we're sending into the digital cables input from vMix, and it comes out the other end of the digital cable into our conference call. Very straightforward. I will have all the links in the description for what you need to get that done. And that was really it. Now, I didn't, I actually did this in the previous video, but the, the audio was messed up when I was recording it. But we did the exact same thing with um, Google Meet. We also did that with Hangouts, did that with Duo. We did that with um, Zoho's conference um, system. Um, anything to where you can pick a choice of what you're using for your mic sound in will work in this type of setup. So hopefully that makes sense. Now I am, when I get some more time, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the Mac because that digital cable is available for the Mac as well too. I'm gonna um, warm up the Ryzen Tosh and test that out. So be on the lookout for the video for that. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and i'm really asking for y'all to make sure that you subscribe if you really like this stuff because looking at the analytics 75 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed so please subscribe because it helps notify youtube that these type of videos that people in media ministries are looking for it pushes that out as suggestions to other people who happen to be looking for media ministry stuff and it pushes out there. So I would really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share. So I wanna thank the patrons who made this video possible. They have contributed as little as $1 a month to help us train other media ministries all over the world and their names are on the screen right now. Thank you so much. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 using the link below, patreon.com slash AJ the CEO. Thanks for watching, folks, and we will see you on the next video later.